Hello and welcome to another new running cast. As always, my name is Johnny, and I'm joined once again by Joey. How's it going, Joey? Yay, I'm back. You are back. You, you, I was usurped by Lawrence. <laughs> so you were. Games, uh, so. To commentate on you, yeah. To commentate on me playing, yeah. So uh, we're now at the Expo Regional, uh, which was a 121 person regional that took place at the UK Games Expo <laughs> in Birmingham. And we have on the left hand side Tagore uh, from London, around London. And on the right hand side, we've got Dave Hoyland, the very intimidating 2014 UK National Champion. And current world's from, number three. And current world's number three as well, yeah. So, uh, to well, explain... We're getting here, Johnny. Have we seen this game before? We have seen this game before, yeah. We watched it live and, in fact, commentated and streamed it live from yes, the Expo. Did. Yeah, um, so just the two of us that commentated this one. Uh, yeah, possibly. We got joined as the... As, as, the, as we got knocked as it went out, on. more and yeah. more people joined us. Yeah. Um, Unfortunately, I was going to actually use the live commentary yes. uh, for these videos, but unfortunately... Just add the, and add the overlay. Yeah, unfortunately, the, the Twitch kind of took all that stuff away. I didn't realise it was on his timer, so I should have got ahead of that. But anyway, let's focus on the game at hand. Lost. We've got Tivor's Wizard against Dave's uh, IG. Now, he, Dave mentioned before this game he was definitely, definitely going to lose yep. because Tagore has a huge amount of hate yep. for IG. We're talking things like employee strike to prevent him uh, using the IG ability to artificially uh, increase the trash cost of assets so that sums, and South Slums stalled. which is on the table which removes culture of the game and he's wizard which is already a bit of and he's wizard that's right so he gets three credit discount on, it, on every trash one once a turn mm -hmm. so um, Dave yeah. started well he's got senses first which is huge so Dave's solution it seems to that was to um, be really aggressive installing remotes and try to race remotes out faster than wizard could handle it and that's kind of what happened so in the first turn Dave installed three remotes and Tagore um Spent the turn getting money, so he installed Liberated, he used Liberated, he installed the slums. He didn't run or check anything. So um, already Dave's got the kind of uh, asset lead, if you want to say. So um, it's always going to struggle. Uh, it acts as a hostile, uh, not raised. I'm wondering if you trash it. I guess you do for two credits. Uh, that will take him back to zero. Yeah, that's not Removed really... from the game as well. You want to you kill the really high, um, high priority things? Uh, but he's got the Liberated, so he can um, use Liberated and run the Sensi. Trashing the Sensi is important here, right? I think it's important. Uh, yeah, it has to, otherwise he just installs another three. That's and it. And then it's just, yeah. It, yeah. And, and the faster he draws, the faster he can put cards in the bin as well to increase trash costs. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Like, if Sensi's had to die, like, that's why I think he almost didn't trash last time in the structure, just to... Make sure yeah, he's um, going to trash them. He's going to check one other thing. Now. But it'll get to a point where that gets rezzed and that's yeah. annoying because then, then you have to trash it. So, yeah. um, so the thing with, I mean, Salsit Slums against Dave's IG is not so bad as well because he's not a museum. That's right. So, Salsit Slums is particularly against, against museum. It's going to keep putting cards back when you trash them. Yeah. Uh, so, it's worth mentioning Dave is not on museum. He's on a 49 card IG, um, which is not the kind of horrible losing friends no, want to no. kill yourself. Uh, IG. Gentleman's IG. Gentleman's IG, yeah. sure. Uh, and it is. So, um, it's going to. Ah, it's real static, very interesting. So, that seems pretty strong against Wizard. Because it yeah. means Wizard is now going to struggle to uh, trash her assets. Yeah, so, he has a bit of money, so that's going to save him for a while. So, now maybe I'd get this wrong, but in this position as Tagore, I might consider um, running R&D just get every access. turn, just to try and get accesses, because Dave's almost certainly not going to put an agenda on the table, that's right? Yeah, it's got a medium in hand, I think, as well. I would drop the medium and run, run, run. Because you just want to get an access to kill the cerebral static, yeah, right? There's yeah. not, like, there's not that many spiky things that can hurt. Um, yeah. You just, you just drop a medium and start running on this. Yeah, it's, it's got a medium in hand. You, you, you get three accesses. Um, instead, he's kind of content to, um, yeah, continue some money up. So he, he's now trying to win a kind of economic war where he's he's saying that he's going to try and get enough money even without wizard's ability he's going to try and get enough money to check and trash every remote that goes down i mean that's not a terrible idea because dave's the way dave wins is kill right he doesn't score with this deck all the no, agendas no, are designed no, to be harder still yeah he can't but um if you can if you can find them uh slums or the ronins for instance they're just gonna have a real problem killing you and then a couple of biothics as well he might he might as well concede at that point because um, that's the way he's going to kill you. He's going to res a. He's going to have some biothics probably to get you down, and then he's going to res um, a, a Ronin dedication ceremony, advancing click. That's going to going to be how he wins. Uh, so he wasn't check some remotes. I mean, I'm, he's not. So for instance, he's not running the Jackson. I don't know if that's something he'd be tempted to do. There's no gens in the bin. So you can see a Ronin. Yeah. So he slums a Ronin. So that's good. That's one out of three, right? So I think, think. 
without a Ronin. They won't be able to score. Uh, I don't want to be able to win. Um, it's, sure, I mean, he, yeah, that's right. So he has like psychic fields and that kind of thing. So accounting for those things being hit, um, there may be snares as well, for instance. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Tagore's still unwilling to run an R and D though. Uh, so his, so he's got a Ronin down. He reses it. Dedicated ceremony puts three. Puts three on it. He can advance it once more, and then he's still got one that you have to click with yeah. it. Yeah. So it takes your entire turn if a Ronin's on the table. Dedicated ceremony is in yes, hand. Yes, but it costs you two credits. And does three net damage. Uh, three net, yeah. Plus Biothix, conceivably, of course. So if they have two cards in hand, then you can kill them. Yes, if you've got the combo. Yeah, which is a two card combo. You need one on the table and one in your hand. It's not that bad. Sure. Okay. So if they've got, if you've got two Biothix down and they've got four cards in hand, you can win. Exactly, exactly. Whatever, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, he must have other other net damage, the snares, the psychic field, maybe just stuff. Oh, this, we saw hostile infrastructure. Yeah, he's got philosophic as well. Um, I think the hostile is not really a kill piece so much as it's an anti-apocalypse piece. But um, sure. yeah, um, yeah. You can get I believe that's the case. You've got genetics from being raised. You've got hostile infrastructure. Yeah, you can so actually get, that can be a lot. You so can it, do the IG locks. So he has genetics from as well. That's worth mentioning. So with um, with like ten cards in the bin and uh, two biotics and a genetics pavilion. You can block. It can be prison. prison yeah. You're like, oh, I can't. I can't. I can't just. Yeah. yeah. I, I literally have my two cards to draw, which saves my two net damage. Yeah. And I will maintain my hand size. As soon as I press one thing, it's not infrastructure will fire. Yeah. And therefore, I'll go below the yeah. kill number. So yeah, that's you, you can still do that. Um, that's why you have to keep trashing stuff. Yeah. Well, you can. Um, but Tagore's not. He doesn't seem to want to steal an agenda. He seems to want to trash assets, yes. which is fine. He's trying to slow down Dave winning, but, your ID, but he's not trying to speed up himself winning. Your ID makes you yeah. Yeah, good at trashing assets, and there's a three He's also got employee striking decks. So we can draw that, and that would. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I th and I think he is drawing. Um, I'm not sure what he's looking for. Maybe that, maybe employee, employee strike. strike. Just seems, maybe seems that's, good. in his head, he's like, that's how I get rid of this. I think. Well, employee strike will do two things. It will turn off. Um, IG's ability, which only now is relevant as Dave trashes yeah. cards for the first time, and it will also kill the Sweep Static, of course. Yeah. Um, I wonder if Dave, for instance, could have drawn more aggressively to discard cards more aggressively. He didn't really. No, without any ice, what's the point? Well, he increases the trash costs. You'll be able to just run the bid. Sure, okay, there might be shocks and stuff, but yeah, okay, sure. that's fair. You're right. If, he's not, gonna, if he's not going to ice the bin, you're right. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's one of the things about the new IG start. Like, they used to be. Like just fill the bin with things that was its protection the protection of yeah. the bin was just fill it with stuff they don't want to hit right yep. but now it's like yeah three shocks so that's about it and actually people ice it that's the thing. Yeah. yeah yeah that's it and maybe you ice it with something that's really annoying like Kamainu or a right. Cortex or, or Hive is the one that's just hard to break yeah but you're right Kamainu is, is phenomenal because only shocks are free ah, so field so it doesn't fire when from hand only when it's installed so it's going to uh, I love how you have no choices about stuff. It's one of those cards that you just don't have to choose, you're like, it's like, like it literally does nothing in my hand. Like, you literally just always yeah. throw them down. Yeah, oh, stick well. it down. Stick it down, stick it down. It's good. And it and the thing is, Tagore's now seen the psychic field. So maybe suddenly he's a lot more wary about checking these remotes. Yeah. Because if he runs on, say, pick three, he might not be able to draw up enough to survive if Dave's got um, even a couple of biothics or he has the combo, which by now he may well have, right? Yeah, um, so there's a. So Tagore needs to strike a balance between trying to find a Ronin and between trying to not find a Psychic Field. <laughs> so he's um, got two cards in the same remote. I believe so this is a Breaker Bay hostile It'll be a hostile infrastructure on a Breaker Bay, absolutely, is what it'll be. So he can risk it for free, basically. Um, right, so and Tagore will know that as well, whether that means he wants to trash it. Now as well, so the medium plan has dropped. So he's had that medium in his hand since like Ooh, 2 1. So he's hit a Psychic Field, field yeah. Um, so this is click 2. Ooh, this could so be a you can draw back game. to it. It could be. Uh, so we've got a uh, side game. So it's two to zero. Okay, interesting. So he's going to lose his hand, which has some nice effect. Feel critic. If you run out of medium, of course, uh, and breakers, which don't really help. So he's going to draw. So he was about to draw two cards, but in fact he's going to draw one. Uh, Dave will res a genetic pavilion. He did draw and click one of this turn, so he cannot draw another click this yeah. turn. Um, but he does have um, one click left. So he decides to run and slums the genetics pavilion, which seems dangerous because yeah, he, can do. he can't draw, but he could run something else. And Dave has um, his way well, has two biotics and the text starter. In fact, you only need um, two biotics. So you can text start up for biotics. You can text start up for biotics. Um, and it fire. Uh, that's a good question. 
it doesn't matter anyway. He only needs the two tech stuff. He might flip the wrong card maybe when he's turning. Uh, I think he said yeah, he, I think he, he, he right. said he also had his combo. Like he, he had a Ronin down as well. So I think that might have been it. I think that might have been the tech stuff was a Ronin if he needed it. Yeah. Um, and he might have had dedication in hand. Yes, you may be right. Yeah. So uh, yeah, but he had the biothics, which is all he needed to flatline. Um, yeah, really tough. So wizard. Now, Dave promised us before that game when we did it he was going to lose. Yeah, because he because Tagore destroyed Dave in the well. He, they played Dave's, the Swiss. Dave's, Dave's words. He said he absolutely destroyed him when, when yeah. they played the Swiss. Like it, he 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 couldn't win with his uh, yeah yeah with his IG. He had no chance because there's a lot of hate. So he didn't even know how he was going to win this. Um, but he well, said he, he tried something different, and that's right. He told us that I guess normally what he might have done is um, maybe ice centrals and draw and discard some cards and then start putting out the remotes but he decided and this kind of makes sense because this is how Assets Ban NH does it if you want to be wizard just start throwing yeah. them out just install Assets as fast as you can yeah and having that first having Senseis in the first three which didn't yeah. get trashed the fact that yeah. Scorn didn't trash in the first three and there was a Senseis there and that allowed him to get into a three more next turn yeah means there were six things down and that's tough even if you ignore IG's ability that's tough for yeah. anyone like that doesn't even if you're wizard like. uh, and then he played the cerebral so it's interesting he didn't play the cerebral straight away but I didn't even notice when he was when we could kind of see his hand the time when he played the cerebral was when he had a second in hand so I think in his head the cerebral was to kill an employee strike yeah, and when sure. he had two he's like I might as well play it because he's yeah. really good against wizard and he had the backup uh, which is quite interesting. So I think that uh, it was it was interesting the way he approached the game, where he decided he just wanted to race a wizard. I wonder if Tagore got a little bit tunnel visioned on remotes. Yeah, I think if he'd have if he'd have managed to access an agenda off R and D or from or even HQ, HQ, yeah, but like either by installing the medium or not, then he would have forced Dave to start setting up a little bit. He had to keep his hand above four cards because I think he was close yep. to dying a lot of the way through that game. But at least he'd have got his wizard idea ability back and he could have pressured remotes better. I don't know if dropping the south set turn one's that strong against Dave's IG. I just don't think it is. I think I think in your head you're like, I know my museum matchup and this is a really important card because like Yeah, but it was click four, there. so maybe on click four instead you should um run and trash something with yeah, wizard. For sure. I mean And if you'd hit the sensei, you might snare that right. Trash that. Yeah. Or it might change the field. It. Yeah. yeah. If you'd have hit that sensei, then I think he would have it would have changed the whole game. I think yeah. that first sensei fire had happened, and yeah. So I think he was reluctant to run on click four, but he'd already spent three clicks. Yeah, so installing liberate that kind of thing. Then, yeah, yeah. Um, interesting. But if not, he could have just taken off liberate again, like instead of installing slums. Maybe I don't know. But yeah. money wasn't really the problem. It was not scoring agendas. Oh, yeah. Really okay. Interesting. So uh, that was the first the first uh, game from first the round elimination of, round. Yeah. yeah. So uh, obviously neither of them go home. But to all drop to the loser's bracket yep. and Dave will continue. In the next round, we are going to drop to the loser's bracket because we're going to see Alex White who playing, also lost who also lost in round one, wow. um, playing uh, as Wizard yep. against Ben Nee, who's playing as Palina. So uh, I am familiar with this Palina because I also played it on the stream a few weeks before. Sure. <laughs> it's a very spiky Palina deck, it's quite yes, interesting. Yes, yeah, I remember this. Yeah. Um, a lot at, of people know a lot about these games because obviously we've. A lot of people have watched the stream when we first did it. Yeah, and we yeah. also chatted to Dave and Alex about these games, about these games on the podcast. Right. Yeah. So uh, it's, a, it's a lot of... Like, yeah. Now you get to watch them having talked about them. Yeah, uh, that's right. So um, Alex White is playing a pretty standard Dumble Fork Wizard yeah. build, I think. Yeah. So uh be quite interesting, yeah. It's a good one. I'm not really sure which side is favoured. I think... I, I mean. I think Wizard is a bad ID for that matchup. But well, I'm not it sure if... Work. It doesn't it do doesn't, anything. It doesn't yeah. do anything, yeah. I wonder if the... Um, I wonder if the deck is a good matchup though, like the the Breaker Suite and the Bill. I'm not sure. Yeah. Obviously, it's, it would be better in Reina, for instance. Anything but Wizard. But um, yeah, even, right, even Noise itself, probably. Yeah, I don't think it's that strong. I mean, yeah. Like Caprice and stuff is a problem when you can normally get him once. Like yeah. with Faust and David, you you're gonna run out of tools. So. Oh, but in fact, it's worth mentioning. This isn't even a normal panel. This, as I say, this is a spiky, spiky panel. So it definitely favours panel yeah, because if you, if you're using Faust to get in, you absolutely you absolutely don't want to take a snare or a fetal or any of the billion yeah. spiky cards that are in yeah. that deck. Okay, yes. I think yeah. I think and the ice is gonna be combined and things like that as well. Yeah. But you okay. never write Alex White off. Alex no, White. you don't. No, I mean, of course not. is a phenomenal pilot. They're as both well, good players. But, yeah. But yeah, you you can never like like Dave said in that previous game. This game. Yeah. I can't win this game, but you're still Dave Hoyland, and he still did. Yeah, <laughs> so. yeah, that's right, that's right. Um, yeah, 
Uh, great. All right. I'm looking forward to that game. Yeah, so um, I will remind our viewers they can find all of our videos at the website, theoreadinggrid.co.uk, and they can find us on Twitter and on Facebook. They can also find us on Patreon. We've recently updated the Patreon uh, reward levels, so take a look. That uh, The rewards now include physical rewards. Yeah, we'll be sending stuff out, which will be interesting. Yeah, it should be exciting, yeah. And we've got some goals, because we have new goals for the podcast. New well, goals, so, yeah, yeah, around yeah. like streaming and podcasts and stuff as well. Yeah. That's right. Um, New I'll, mics. I want <laughs> mics. You want mics. Yeah. I want mics. Um, so as we just mentioned, you can also listen to the Dare Channel podcast if you'd like to hear more of us. Uh, thank you, Jerry, for having me come today. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.